come over to collect and click start interviewing. And that will then take this link live. Now you can edit this link prior if you wish, and you could call it um, test art or whatever would be applicable to your organization. And you can also launch a preview. And this preview will take you through what the art assessment will look like. So here it'll give you an assessment guide when art is suitable and when it is not. Please note art is not intended for DSC assessments. If you are someone who's doing a lot of these, you can skip this introduction, but we feel it might be applicable and relevant for those of you that don't do them that often because it just helps remind you of, of what is uh, needed. It will go through before completing the art, um, completing the description and the task, consider the timings, uh, making the assessment and how to follow the different colour stages. Taking action and what the purpose of artists is designed to identify. Um, preventative measures and simple and cost effective changes. And finally, then you'll be able to complete the task here. So we're going to click it was George in Norwich warehouse. Stock motion, um, moving lots of pens um, from one section to another. Um, also goodie bags. You can explain how this task will be um, a repetitive task. So you're doing a lot of motion. You've got everything around you and you've got to create a load of goodie bags. Um, and so that's something that we've got for marketing purposes. Um, motion from left to right. Um, location, what's in the warehouse. We have two warehouses here, so we're going to call it warehouse two. You can identify the individuals involved. Matt. And what is the maximum weight of any item handled? Um, is it 20 kilograms? So any task that involves anything higher than eight would be considered MAC potentially. So, and you, you may be aware of this as well. So we'll say it's five kilograms per item. Next, you'll be able to look at what side of the body is primarily involved, both in this case. How many units are they shifted per hour? At least 12. Um, sorry, at least 120, I'd say. Um, every second, every 30 seconds. How long does the performer take to do the task without a break? Um, 30 mins. Also, when is a typical shift? Um, nine till five. Do you rotate other tasks? Yes. If so, what other tasks? Tasks performed an hour and then move to the next task. Are there any indications of high risks for MSDs? No, there's not. Um, are there any significant psychosocial factors? No, not at all. Um, then you'd be able to actually go through the assessment itself. So here you can observe um, the different movements. You'd be able to see when the individual completes the task and how often it's completed. You'd be able to look at the different force um, and look through at the level of force exerted by the hand. Um, you'll be able to look at the awkward postures or, or see if there was anything that is unhappy um, within the individual. I'm observing a, a bend here. You can also look at the, the back and how that twists. You'd also be able to have a look at the arm posture and see one arm compared to the other. You'll be able to look at the wrist posture and how this varies in the individuals based on the task being performed. The hand grip. Again, you have this for both hands and then breaks. So when are the breaks uh, and how long are they allowed and, and how often do they perform the task without a break? 
uh, the work pace. And then you'll be able to go through any other factors present. For example, one arm is in a sling. You'll be able to go through the duration of the task. And now you'll have a colour coded section where you'll actually be able to go through the score sheet and you can list any of the control measures that you may apply here. Um, and so is there something that you feel you can apply for the repetition or the head and neck posture? Um, maybe recommended yoga moves. Um, you'll be able to go through and see what you recommend here. Finally, you'll be able to see any of those control measures you put in place and then go through and you'll be able to get the assessor to input their email address. They'd be able to receive a copy of the assessment through the email address. And they will also then be able to um, this survey will the, sorry the assessment will be sent to you and and that overall account and you'll be able to have that overall view of that assessment completed.